Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and you are watching Sartorial Styles. Custom clothing really got a boost thanks to the internet and that does not only apply on suits but also on shoes. Today I share my experience with Undandy in this in-depth review. Undandy is an online service offering custom shoes made in Portugal. Their footwear is blake stitched and they work with genuine calf leather, suede and canvas materials. These materials can also be mixed within one pair of shoes. They do not offer any more information about the origin and the quality of their leather. That means it's probably not full grain quality. Undandy offers four different lasts with standard sizing and multiple widths. Two of their lasts are designed for dress shoes, the other two for more casual footwear like sneakers. Their sizes reach from UK 5 to UK 18, what is pretty nice. After choosing a last type, Undandy asks you to choose an overall design. On the pretty traditional 48 last, you can go for Oxfords, Darbys, Monkstraps, Loafers, Chucker Boots, Combat Boots, Chelsea Boots and even Monkstrap Boots. After that, they give you a huge handful of possible leather types, colors and finishes. You can also ask for a hand-painted patina, patent leather and suede. Every material can be applied to only one part of the shoe, so you can design spectators for example or even multicolored shoes like this interesting design I just put together. I own two pairs of Undandy shoes. The first one is about a year old and I unboxed it on this channel. You can find my first impressions up there in the corner. It's a double monk strap on the 15 last with a burgundy patina and without brogging. For my second pair I decided to mix leather with canvas to create a two-tone wingtip with brogging on the 48 last. Before we cover the quality and the fit of the shoes, we have to talk about Undandy's turnaround time. On their website, they claim to need four weeks to craft and ship their shoes. My first pair arrived after eight weeks and my second pair after nine weeks. On the second one, the delay was due to the global coronavirus pandemic and therefore no problem for me. They did claim to need only up to two weeks more, but honestly, during this inconvenient situation, things like that can happen. But on the first pair, there was no global pandemic. I have no problem at all with longer turnaround times on custom clothing, but claiming to need four weeks and then actually needing twice as much time is kind of unkind. At least I definitely have to comment their packaging. They always use proper shipping services with proper tracking from Portugal to Germany without any shady stops or repackagings. On my first order they used DHL Express as kind of an apology and the second pair was shipped via DPD. The shoes always arrived without any damage and in a very decent packaging. They always insert a shoe box and a shoe bag. On my foot, the 15 last runs about one size UK large and the 48 pretty much true to size. I have a UK 8 on the Camina Rain last and on every shoe passion shoe I bought yet. When I notified Andeni that the shoe runs pretty large on my foot, they offered me to send a free pair of leather insoles and that indeed helped. Generally, their lasts aren't very special. Especially the 48 is an extremely classic, maybe even boring design that a grandpa could wear too. The 15 is kind of boxy in the front, it works for some kinds of shoes, but I would not order my classic black Oxfords on this last. The leather quality is pretty good, especially when you consider the price point. It's a very soft leather that needs close to no break in time. The shoes are very comfortable and the upper is very decent in general. The sole is very thin, but still acceptable and quite comfortable. The construction is a normal Blake stitch, which is fine for that price point and for the fact that these are custom shoes. The patina is kind of off-colored at one point or another and on my wingtips I was able to find some uncolored spots too. That's not a huge problem, but something you would not see on a Carmina or even a Meerman shoe. 
I really like the laces Undandy provides, especially on my wingtips. They are extremely nice to tie and look very good. The soles of my one-year-old pair are still in a surprisingly good condition. I have to say though that a lot of creasing happened on the monk straps, probably because they are a bit large for my foot. By the way, my Sophia Shoeshine products work very well with my Undandy shoes. The Renomat takes the color from the monk strap off very easily, but that also happens to way more expensive shoes. It's just a very strong and powerful product. Undandy also offers Shoeshine products on their own. They are decent, but I prefer Zafir to be honest. All in all, I am very satisfied with my Undandy shoes. They are not meant to last forever, but they look exactly how I wanted them to look and they are very comfortable. For this price point, the quality is absolutely fine. Yes, Mirmin is better and maybe even cheaper, but with Undandy you can exactly choose which design, material and last you want to have. They should work on their turnaround time or stop claiming to need only 4 weeks though. A few more last would be a nice addition too. Thank you very much for watching this installment of Sartorial Styles. If you want to see some outfits featuring my Undandy shoes, feel free to head over to my Instagram account. If you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel to be notified when I upload new videos about men's style. On the left side, you can find my unboxing of the burgundy monk straps from Undandy. On the right side, I'll show you five ways to style white denim jeans. Have a nice time and see you next week.